In this problem, we're being asked to find the equation of the least squares regression line for the following set of paired data. So what we're going to do is go to our scientific calculator, drop everything into our list, and then find what we need. Uh, essentially, what we need is the slope and the y-intercept, because remember that the equation of a line can be written in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, where m is our slope and b is our y-intercept. So we're go let's go ahead, uh, drop everything into our scientific calculator. I'll use the TI-30XS. If you have a TI-34, it's very similar. You'll be using your data button. So I'm going to first of all press data and then put everything in. As you can see, I've already done that. So list 1 will be the x values, list 2 will be the y values. And then we'll go into second data to activate the statistics part of this. And we do have two variables, so I'll press two variable statistics where x data is list 1 and y data is list 2. Scrolling down, you can see a lot of information, the mean, standard deviation. Uh, what we're looking for is the slope and the y-intercept. A little bit further down, and there we have it. Uh, note that we can also find the correlation coefficient, which is r, uh, to be 0.981, which is a very, very strong positive relationship because it's very close to 1. Uh, the other information we need is the a and the b. Instead of m, they use a to find the slope. So that means our m uh, is 3. Point, let's say about 236, and our y-intercept is about negative 2.038. Okay, so we have all the information we need, so we'll go ahead and drop it into our slope-intercept form. So the equation of this regression line will be y equals 3.236x plus, and then negative, so minus 2.038. Again, because we have a very strong positive relationship, we can also expect to see a positive slope of this uh, regression line. And we can also use this equation to predict values. Uh, given an x, we can find a y. Given a y, we can find an x.